another week in my fourth grade class. Hello, if you're new to my channel, my name is Marily Sanchez and I'm a fourth grade teacher in South Florida. We are currently in week 27 out of the school year and it's Monday, March 6, 2023 coming to you at the end of the day on Monday to give you a little recap of what we learned today in our class. So first and foremost, we were working with my block one, which had started with me this morning. We were rereading the anchor text poems and the pair text poems and answering some graphic organizers and questions regarding those. In my afternoon group, my block two today, we went ahead and finished up with the rereading of the shared read poems and then having them complete the theme graphic organizer and the reading response question for those shared read poems. And then we went forward and read the anchor text poems and the pair text poems, which tomorrow we're gonna look at again and complete the same activity that my block one completed this morning. As students came in this morning, they had the Smart Start activity in their books that basically had them review vocabulary. We went over connotation and denotations and then an activity with that and had them go over the different reading strategies that we're going over in this unit, including the genre for narrative poems. This was our agenda for block one and this was our agenda for block two. Now I do have to say I did run out of time because again, I'm playing catch up. I'm trying to make sure that I am where I'm supposed to be right now and I'm slowly catching up. So. Hopefully, maybe tomorrow, I'll start my block two with writing so that we can get through it and then continue on with our reading activity. We went ahead and started with our affirmations in both classes and reviewed so far what we're working on in this particular unit. How do writers look at success in different ways? And we reviewed what we learned from the weekly opener video, the study blast, as well as the read aloud, the theme and how we find the theme and again, rereading these poems with my block two, but my block one had already finished this and my block one ended up rereading these poems and my block two read them today as well, uh, along with these, which are the paired text poems. I did go over rhyme and structure with my block one and that'll go into the test that they're going to take. So here is the swimming to the rock for the anchor text poems and the moon dust footprint talking about success and looking at poetry, structures, and figurative language. And these are the paired text poems. Now, this is a question that my block one answered this morning after looking at different skills within both of the anchor text poems. And this is what my block two was working on after they finished the graphic organizer, which it looks just like this over here. This is the completed one. And this is the question. I gave them a closed reading passage because my block two is mostly ELL students. So that helped them and the word bank is here on the side so that they can use it to help them complete the answer. So that is what we ended up working on today. Monday, tomorrow, we're going to wrap up this unit with my block two so they can take the test on Wednesday. And tomorrow, my block one, which I'll have in the afternoon, will finish writing their responses for the pair text poems, and then they'll take the wonders assessment for that unit so that we can start on the unit we were supposed to start on today on Wednesday. And my block two will start it on Thursday, but it's okay because we have two weeks on this new unit and I'm pretty sure we will be all cut up by next week and no more playing catch up. All right, so that's all that I have for today. I will see you tomorrow. I'm now coming to you from the end of the day on Tuesday and it's been a long day. I feel like the students are getting excited about the fact that spring break is a week and a half away. My afternoon group was extra chatty and extra energetic. I just have to find different ways to engage them so that we can harness that energy, right? So have some ideas that I can do for the rest of the week. But I do start with them tomorrow morning. And today what I did with them, since I had them in the afternoon, they were finishing their or starting their Wonders Unit 4 Week 5 assessment. So I have a couple of students that need to finish that tomorrow morning they will do that with my block one we were going over the vocabulary activities that i did yesterday with my block one and going over connotation and denotation and then we started reading the anchor text poem swimming to the rock we didn't get to the second anchor text poem 
because we were working on completing the chart. This time around, I projected the poem on the Promethean board, and then on the board, I quickly drew the chart for the evidence that they needed to find for that particular poem, Swimming to the Rock. So here is that chart. I just drew it really quickly. I know it's not super straight, but it helped to have the poem on the Promethean board and this on the side so students knew how to complete it. And we did this as a shared activity where everybody was contributing information and we were all doing it together. So tomorrow we will read the second anchor text poem, which is the moon dust footprint and complete the table or the chart that goes with that poem. And then we'll read the pair text poems and compare them to the anchor text poems. And depending on time, we'll see if they can start their assessment tomorrow. If not, I am pushing it to Thursday. So that is all that I have for today. I am quite hungry. So I'm going to stop by Taco Bell and get myself a Mexican pizza on the way home. And I have another Miami Learns professional development tonight through Zoom. Today's day two is the final day for that one. This one is overcoming unfinished learning. So I'm hoping to learn a little bit more strategies, maybe even validate strategies that I'm already doing to make sure I address unfinished learning. So I will see you tomorrow i forgot to mention that one of my colleagues who celebrates purim which is a jewish holiday today greeted me with this and a couple of other teachers as we were coming in he was dressed like a minion as well and there were a lot of goodies in here so there's a cupcake there is a let's go bananas this is i believe a gatorade there are some lemon heads and mike and ike sour lemon which i love there's some Sour Punch candy and a Hershey's chocolate bar. You can see the theme with blue and yellow going and this bag is absolutely adorable. Thank you so much, Mr. Hockerman and his wife and family. Now I'll see you tomorrow. We've reached the end of the day on Wednesday and just a quick update because I gotta run out of here. I ended up having my first block, block one this morning, finished their wonders assessment. I had students that were done going over to iReady and Mayan reading so that they can get minutes there. And then we introduce unit five weeks, one and two. So the only thing that I was able to do with them for introducing the unit was showing them the picture that starts the unit and having them watch the video. So tomorrow we'll go ahead and do the study blast, the read aloud, and do the first story, which is the shared read, your world up close, and get going with that unit. With my block two, I got them to finish everything for unit four, week five. So tomorrow they'll take the test for that. And I start with them tomorrow. So that's what they're gonna do when they come in in the morning. Let me show you the activities that I worked on with my block two. And we reviewed the graphic organizer for the anchor text swimming to the rock. Ooh, that looks very blurry. There it is. So we went ahead and finished that organizer and then we reread the moon dust footprint and completed this organizer. And then the students wrote their answer for the response reading. I'll show you how I did it on the board, similar to what I did with my block one. And then we reread Genius and completed this graphic organizer on figurative language. And we reread Winner and also completed this one. And that's where we ended. So on classroom screen, I put the question right here and I gave them some help with it. And then of course, in the blank spaces, they needed to go ahead and fill in the text evidence that supports how we can learn about success from both of those poems. And I did give them a timer. I first started with 15 minutes, but then I had many students that were not done. So then I added 10 more minutes, but really, really love setting this up in classroom screen and having it available for my students and for other classes that I may need it for. So that's what we were able to accomplish for today. I'll see you tomorrow. Hello everyone. I'm coming to you at the end of the school day. I did not vlog yesterday, Thursday. So I'm coming to you from Friday. 
Yesterday, right after school, I had Minecraft Club and then Miss Guzman came to visit me. And right after Minecraft Club ended and I dismissed the students, her and I went to Target and then to Starbucks. So I didn't have a chance to pick up the camera and give you an update on our day. But yesterday, I had my block two, which I had in the morning, work under Wonders Assessment. So the way that I did it is, since I didn't have the laptops yesterday or today, I just gave the students the paper version of the test. And then I still did the ELL scaffolded assessment, which is paper-based anyway, with my level ones and two ESOL students. So we did that for block two, that took up the entire class period. And once students finished, my ELL students finished, they were working on Imagine Learning, which helps them with English. And when they were done with that, they were working on iReady since I had my Chromebooks and I have six desktop computers. Then I move on to my block one, which I had in the afternoon, and we finished introducing the new unit, unit five weeks one and two, which is what can you learn by observing your world up close. So they had already looked at the picture that introduced the unit as well as the weekly opener video. And I kind of gave them a little preview of what the study blast was going to be about, like how old is our water and the number crunch was 97. So yesterday I went ahead and we read the study blast together and the students were able to kind of predict what 97 was, which ended up being the percentage of water on earth that is undrinkable. And then we went ahead and did the read aloud, which is stick like a gecko, learning about how geckos can walk upside down in smooth surfaces. And also read the shared read, which they answered the fine text evidence questions. So today, when I started my day, I had my block one, which I had this morning, work on their vocabulary since some of the kids went to the principal's honor roll assembly. And then I had like three kids that were out because they were sick. So they were working on reviewing the vocabulary for the new unit, as well as the context clues of antonyms. And then going over the summarize strategy, which is the reading strategy we're focusing on, and the text features of looking at photographs and captions and what we can learn from them. Then I had the students break into groups and work on the chronology graphic organizer so that they can look at one of the paragraphs in the shared read and find the chronology details that show that something is happening in time order. So that was my block one. My block two, I went ahead and introduced them to unit five weeks one and two through the picture. We talked about it. They gave me their observations of the picture and then obviously we saw the weekly opener video and talked about it as well and reread the study blast so then after that we went ahead and started reading the read aloud but i couldn't finish because the counselor came with a couple of students that were doing a character development sort of activity so that took up some time and then it was time for art and then we finished the day so it has been a very long day today, Friday. The afternoon really was kind of challenging with a couple of students that needed some assistance. And thank goodness the counselor came by because I had her talk to the students. So I am so ready for this weekend and I just finished my lesson plans for next week. Next week is the last week before we start spring break and I'm really grateful. One more thing that I forgot to mention yesterday with my block one in the afternoon, because we had some time, I gave them the lyrics to the best which is a song by AWOL Nation, but I gave them the lyrics as if it was a poem. And we were analyzing and looking closely at the words that were being shared by the author. So this is the handout that I created and the place where the students can make their notes. These were my notes and we really had a good discussion about it. Then I told them, well, I wanna let you know that this is actually a song and let me play it for you. So it was a very nice way to end our day and the students really enjoyed that. So let me give you a glimpse of next week's lesson plans. Here they are, ready to go next to my computer on my teacher desk. And yes, my writing pretty much looks the same because I didn't get to writing this week. I am desperately trying to catch up in uh, where I'm supposed to be in Wonders. And I'm finally where I'm supposed to be. So hopefully we'll get through all of this next week before we go on spring break. And I also went ahead and got it all situated in my Google Keep, ready to go so I can check off as we complete different activities for next week. 
All right, so that is all I have to share for this week, week 27. Next week, we will be in week 28. So I hope you enjoyed coming along with me. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought or any questions you may have. Also, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell for notifications so you don't miss any future videos. I hope you have a beautiful, magical day. And don't forget to smile. Hello dreamers, wishers, and magical thinkers. Thank you so much for making it to the very end of this video and for showing your support. If you'd like to subscribe, you can do so by clicking on my picture down here. You can also check out my latest videos here and here. Don't forget to believe in the magic that's inside you because you are capable of great things. See you next time.